Well, it looks like Weevil is finally relevant in the One Piece story. Or at least it looks like that's the direction that he's going. But he finally did something though. Before I go into his actions, let me take you back to Sphinx Island. Sphinx Island is the home of Whitebeard. This is where he grew up and this is where Marco took responsibilities of watching over the town in honor of Whitebeard. But as you guys know, Marco was gone for a little while when he went to Wano to help out Luffy and everybody else. So of course, at this perfect time frame when nobody's watching Sphinx Island, the Marines show up. Unfortunately, these aren't the good hearted Marines either. These are the douchebag ones, the one that we don't like, that has just a ton of hatred in the heart, man. Sphinx Island is not allied with the world government, so the world government doesn't have to protect it, and it doesn't follow the laws of the world government. So they try to take advantage of this by barging into their land and saying shit like laws won't protect you here. And their goal is to look for Whitebeard's treasure. And if they don't tell them where the treasure is at, they're going to start killing innocent citizens one by one. And it almost comes to that. Just a moment before killing an innocent kid, that's where our boy Weevil comes in the picture. He strikes down the Marines with a hit and he says, don't lay your hands on my hometown. Don't forget, he's the alleged son of Whitebeard, so he has an attachment to this place, apparently. The Marines are scared shitless, all right? This is the same motherfucker who was a Shishibukai beforehand. Uh, they're surprised that the Shishibukai didn't get taken down, or at least this one. And what can you expect? They say a naval ship should have been headed towards them to take them out. But come on, we all know the reality that these were one of your strongest people in the world government. You can't expect all of them to be wiped out. Hell, one of your Shishibukai became a Yonko, and that's why he's the goaded character in One Piece. Back to Weevil, though. Weevil was there with his mother, Miss Buckingham, who we know as Stussy now, or the original to the clone of Stussy, and also a former Rocks Pirate member. She explains to Marco who has now returned to Sphinx Island and she is in utter despair because Green Bull came through and he did what these other Marines couldn't. He got his hands on Weevil and took him and now Weevil's on his way to prison, most likely impelled down. I feel bad for Weevil because now it looks like Weevil is a good person at heart. You know, he's just really dumb. <laughs> He takes orders from Miss Buckingham, so he's not really all that evil. We've seen him destroy towns and whatnot, but he has a good heart. Look what he did for the people of this village. Miss Buckingham begs Marco to help her, asking him to please save Weevil. I know Marco is pissed. I know he's going to help them because he has the respect for Whitebeard. And if everything is true between Buckingham and Whitebeard, then there's no doubt he's going to go help out. But this man is supposed to be retired. He's trying to live in peace. Now he has to go on another hardcore mission. I already know he's saying in the inside, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Miss Buckingham also says that there's one person that can prove that Whitebeard and Weevil are blood related. And of course that person is Vegapunk, so most likely Weevil is a clone of Whitebeard or has some DNA. Ever since the clones came into One Piece, I feel like there's just a bunch of clone allegations and it's kind of exhausting, I'm not gonna lie. Now we hear saying, maybe this person's a clone, maybe that person's a clone. It's just never gonna stop. Before you say Weevil looks nothing like Whitebeard because he's all fat, keep in mind Green Bull is the one who took him. And I can only imagine since Green Bull captured him, he likely got his nutrients sucked from him. So Weevil is going to get a different look, a different appearance. He's going to be skinnier and it's probably going to result in him looking a lot like Whitebeard now. I'm just really excited that we're finally going to see more Weevil. I've been waiting to see more of him for a long time now. I'm sure he's going to be a character that I'm just going to fall in love with just because he's so dumbed down. And he's probably the clone of this goat right here, so you can't go wrong. This also makes you think that since Marco's going after Weevil, most likely there's going to be another prison break-in. And why wouldn't Weevil be put in Impel down? Now, stay with me. Whatever happens for this break-in, whoever shows up, whatever the fuck happens, just keep in mind that this may result in Doflamingo being free and a bunch of others, including the one that we all want to see free again, the one we want to see reunite with the Straw Hats, our honorary member, our boy, Bonchan Mr. 2. And it's going to unintentionally happen, I'm sure, but it's still pretty exciting to think about. And keep in mind, also, we have another crew member of Dofi who's in that prison that if they end up being free, this could change the whole game for the whole prison. Pika, guys, with his devil fruit, he could probably take control of most of the prison. It's just a huge domino effect. We just got to see what happens. But I'm just really excited to see the freedom of Dofi because there's no way that Dofi is going to spend the rest of One Piece trapped in that prison. He's too important of a character. Let me know what you guys thought about this chapter. This is really exciting stuff. Uh, I can't wait to see what else we get.
break next week. Like and sub if you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.